Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, my name's Rochelle. And today we're gonna be talking about 22 things that I learned in 22 years. So now that I've officially turned 22, I turned 22 last week, I feel like I am now semi-wise to give some sort of advice. There's definitely things I've picked up along the way of living to age 22. And I just thought I'd share them with you today. I have some advice that is serious, some advice that's not so serious. I basically did 11 things that are kind of silly but true and 11 things that are actually useful serious so if you'd like to hear what I've learned over the years then keep on watching um, you might as well subscribe now so yeah I have my list on my phone of 22 things thing number one and the pandemic oh please ignore my band-aid I don't know why it's blue um, had a little accident today, so just ignore that. This pandemic couldn't have been a better lesson of always have a rainy day fund. You never know what's gonna happen. The pandemic proved it. You can lose your job at any time. You can just run out of money. I don't know, there's always just something. So just always have a little bit, even a little bit amount of emergency money. Makeup wipes are actually bad for your skin. Now, am I still gonna use them later to take off my makeup? Probably, but I do, I did learn that they are bad and I'm conscious of it. I just, I'll eventually break the habit, but I don't know about today. But I do know it's bad, so that's what matters. Being vegetarian only works if you like vegetables. Now guys, I was vegetarian for like seven years and in May, I think, is when I started eating meat again and let me tell you, vegetarianism is great, but if you're someone like me, I do not like many vegetables. I'm very picky. When I was vegetarian, I could not tell you what I even ate. I don't even remember, but it wasn't good. It was a lot of processed food. Like just because you're having vegetarian frozen chicken nuggets or vegetarian chicken patties doesn't mean you're getting all your nutrients. I'm not a veggie girl. I hate broccoli. I hate celery. Don't like carrots. It'd be easier to say what I do like. Anyways, for coffee is not a meal. Now, I'm still gonna have it every day for breakfast because I don't like breakfast, but I know that it's not a meal. I know that. Um, and even though I'm not necessarily listening, I still thought I'd throw it in because it's true. Now to follow that along, we come to number five. Coffee is also not water. I'm really bad at drinking water and most of the time I drink more coffee than I do water and that's not all right. You guys need to make sure you're drinking enough water, not just coffee. You have food at home. I think this is an obvious, but we forget sometimes. I've had to teach myself time and time again. I don't need to get takeout all the time. I don't need to always go to restaurants. I have groceries, I have food at home. So, yeah. Espresso, not espresso. I don't know about you guys, but literally all through age of 15, 16, I was saying espresso. And it's not until one day when like my sister told me, you know it's not actually espresso, it's espresso. I was just like mind blown and ever since I have felt dumb for saying it that way. Never assume someone is pregnant. I've actually really fucked up on this before. I don't think I need to elaborate. Just know, just don't assume, never. I actually thrive in quarantine and being home. Um, I didn't think I was that way, and then we hit the pandemic, we had quarantine, and out of all my friends, I was the one that was like thriving, and I was like, I love quarantine, like I want it to be longer, I love being home, and um, I didn't know that about myself, so that's something I learned because of COVID. It's I couldn't care less, not I could care less. I could care less does not make sense. Alcoholic beverages are expensive. When you start having beverages, like alcoholic beverages in your lunches or dinners, that really accumulates and it's actually expensive. That's something I learned. And now we're moving on to my more serious segment of more like advice things I learned along the years. 
Change is scary and that's okay. If it doesn't scare you, it's not worth doing. Now, I don't know if this is a quote. That might be a quote, but it's very true. I've learned it with a lot of things, um, whether it's like a job, a new hobby. It's like you're never gonna find what you love to do or you're never gonna know if you'll be happy at that job unless you try it. And I've learned that it's totally normal for things to be scary. That's just part of life. That's that on that. This is really basic, but to love yourself, I just think it's so important. A lot of people think they do, but they really don't. And it's just important too because because if you don't love yourself, how do you expect anyone else to truly love you? Once you have that down, there's nothing that can stop you. And that ties along with number 14, is to also respect yourself. Whether it's like, I don't know, friends, a relationship, a job, like just know your worth. People will come and go and that is so normal. I feel like throughout my life, obviously, I've had people in my life come and go. Obviously at the time, it's gonna be kind of sad. It's so normal for things not to last forever. Some people come into your life just to teach you something while others are meant to stay there for the long run. Health is wealth. Start taking care of yourself early. I feel like you take your health very for granted until something happens to you. Like we really take our health for granted. It feels great not to be sick and I just feel like we need to be grateful. So yeah, life is too short, so always tell people you love you love them. Now this is something I've always done and I'm very proud of myself that I do. I just feel like at any given time, say you're going to the grocery store, like you should tell the people you love you love them because you can always get in a car accident. I mean, God forbid, but it's like you just never know what's gonna happen. Yeah, it's cheesy, but I do do it. Number 18. Money is not everything. There's like multiple things I could say, but just, it's really that simple. Money is not everything. It's some, but it's not everything. Vacation time is so important. Time off for like yourself is sometimes looked down upon and it really shouldn't be. Like sometimes you just need a little break from life. It's really healthy. Life is stressful and I don't think vacation time or just not doing anything for a little bit is bad. Like it just needs to be a little bit more normalized. So you are your own worst critic. And I say this because there will be times where I'm super hard on myself about certain things or I'll hear like my friends be super hard on themselves for certain things. And I think you, we always have to remind ourselves like how you see yourself is always gonna be like 30 times worse than how it actually was to other people. Number one is trust the process. Um, I feel like sometimes it could be hard to think things are going right. I've really been saying a lot, just trust the process. Cause in the end, things will work out how they're supposed to. Let life do its thing. And for my last tip is that hard work will pay off. Um, it can be very easy to think that nothing's happening or that you're not going anywhere. Like say you wanna learn how to skateboard and you're just sucking so you stop. Like how are you ever gonna be good at skateboarding if you just stop practicing? Like you have to keep practicing and eventually you'll be good. Um, all right, that brings me to the end of all my tips. That was 22 things. Some were serious, some weren't. I hope you guys enjoyed all the things that I learned. Is this my first talking video? This may be my first like just talking video. Like this video, subscribe, and I'll, I'll see you guys next time. 22, 22. Bye guys. Bye guys.